Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I hope all of you are fine and doing well. So the topic that we will discuss today it is the formation of urea or the manufacturing of the urea. When we talk about the urea it is basically a nitrogenous compound. Nitrogenous mean the compound that contain nitrogen it is known as the nitrogenous compound and the formula of the ammonia or the urea we have it is ns2 whole twice co this is the simple formula for the urea now basically urea it consists of 46.6 percent of the nitrogen so that's why it is called as a nitrogenous compound on the other hand it is basically a white crystalline solid its color we have white crystalline compound and its second property is that it is highly soluble in water on the other hand it can be used for the preparation of the many important chemicals which means it can be used as a raw material but the major use of the urea we have it is used as the fertilizer to provide the nitrogen to the soil and it is about 90% used as a fertilizer so this is the simple overview about the urea now we have its manufacturing the first main thing is the raw materials that we can use for the manufacturing of the urea is the first one raw material we need it is the ammonia NH3 and the second we need carbon dioxide its formula we have CO2 these two raw materials we required for its production now let's have a look on the chemical reaction basically the ammonia that we are going to use as a raw material for the production of the urea how do we gain this ammonia the one step or the process is known as the Haber process process is known as the Haber's process that is used for the preparation of the ammonia in this process the nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen and the temperature is 450 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure almost 200 atmospheric or ATM so the ammonia we gain in this process its formula is NH3 and all that just happened in the presence of the catalyst that catalyst is basically iron and the temperature is almost 450 degrees Celsius that is very high temperature now this ammonia that is prepared by the Haber's process it can be used as raw material for the process of the urea formation now let's have a look the reaction of the ammonia and the carbon dioxide which is the first step for the preparation of the ammonia ammonia to ammonium carbamate so ammonia when it get reacts with the carbon dioxide we have to take two moles of ammonia and one mole of carbon dioxide when it reacts it produces the compound or the intermediate compound which is known as the ammonium carbamate it can also be written as ns2 C double bond O and O NH4. This is the simple formula for the ammonium carbamate. This compound is not stable compound and it has to rearrange itself and produces the new compound which is known as the urea. And this is the second step which is called as the urea formation. In this, this ammonium carbamate just changes into the ammonia. This formula is C double bond O. On both sides we have the ammonium plus the release of the water in the form of steam so this is the basically second step which is known as the evaporation of the ammonium carbamate here is evaporation takes place and it changes into the main product which is known as the urea now after the urea formation at this stage the urea that we gain it is basically in the liquid state now the liquid urea that is evaporated as a result of this it it is sprayed from the top of the tower under the pressure 
so it is basically sprayed from the top of the tower under the high pressure and a hot current of air is passed so three main steps just happen it must be sprayed from the top of the topper or top of the tower the pressure must be high and the hot air is blown from it when it passes out through it it evaporates to form the granules now this ammonia will be converted into the granules now in this way it can be stored to be marketed so this was a simple way and this process is known as the granulation of the urea now what is the main flow sheet diagram for the urea formation here we have this the first step is the liquid ammonia is used we have to use a carbon dioxide in the reacting chamber which is the basically carbonation in this step here we gain the ammonium carbamate and now this ammonium carbamate just evaporated and produces the urea uh, in the process of evaporation here we gain the water carbon dioxide and ammonia that is in in unreacted form it is further used in the first step second step is evaporation and third step is granulation now the urea that we gain in the liquid form it can be gained in the form of granules by passing out hot air through it at high pressure and at the end this ammonia this urea can be stored and it can be easily marketed so this is a simple process of the formation of the urea and i'm going to write the formula of the urea again which is nh2 whole twice co and it is having almost 46.6 percent of the nitrogen in it and it is used as basically the fertilizer and this is a very good method for the production of the urea through it so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that and the next topic that we will discuss it is the importance of urea for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day